People cannot create Only the story of what is good All oh, the world be great Don't let the fear steal your peace, no Don't let the fear steal your peace Hi folks, this is uh, Christina Picas again, and I'm here with another fabric haul, a Walmart fabric haul. So I was in there getting some um, snacks and goodies for a camping trip we're going on next week, and um, I decided to look because I'd heard that some stores had um, brought back their um, rolled up remnants, and I, and I looked and the whole section, the whole fabric section looked completely empty, and I went around and I looked finally at the end cap on the back, you know, way underneath there was this box that had new fabric in it. And then um, continuing on the, the wire um, basket kind of shelving that they have around the corner also, where they're supposed to be also had some different things too. And I got some good stuff. So let's get to it. Uh, this first thing is a black and gold striped, a double brushed polyester. And it was, three yards for eight dollars and so I think that's a common price you'll see that a lot um, uh, I think they're slightly more than um, things that they were charging uh, what they were charging last year but um, still wicked deal second thing is this kind of um, knobby um, on the back um, I don't know what it is, it's a sweater, um, fleece, I don't know what you'd call it. Um, I have some other stuff like this in uh, two different colors that I got at G Street that um, is super stretchy and I think it's got some rayon in it. This um, is probably really po just polyester, not a whole lot of stretch, um, it's light, um, but still probably be pretty warm. And it was two yards for $4, can't beat that. Next chiffon now granted I really kind of said I was not gonna do chiffon anymore but I've been watching Karina Trinidad's channel lifting pins and needles and she's given me some pep talks well she's given all of us who watch her channel pep talks and I'm gonna give it a try because this is so pretty and it was only two yards for four dollars as well this next one um, is I think a nylon and it's a crinkle and it's such a gorgeous color, you can't really see here. It's a teal, and, um, oh, it's so pretty. And it was, actually, I think it might have been two yards for $2. I think I might have my things backwards. Um, but yeah, two, two yards for $4. Yes, this is two yards for $4. I'm not, I think some of my signs got messed up. But in any case, gorgeous stuff. And that'd be nice for a fall, too. Um, this, okay, when I got it in the store, I was convinced that it was a French Terry because I have a beautiful French Terry um, that I got from G Street and um, snapped it up. They had it in two different colors. The other one was like kind of a, a yellow orange flower and this is more of a coral. It's kind of bright, but it's still really nice. And you know, um, I had some French Terry that I really like, but when I got it home, I realized that it is not a French Terry. It is maybe a polyester spandex. Um, not a brush, probably, but it's a thin, like a t-shirt or like dress um, fabric, and it's really nice. Um, I think this was either, yeah, I think this is, I'm sure this is three yards. I think it's three yards for six. I showed you the sign before, but I think it actually goes with this. Um, still, really good deal. Next, um, we do have some Honest to Goodness French Terry. And um, it is um, not terribly stretchy. And this one has the, it's, it's kind of more of a, I guess, baby French terry. It's got the loops on the back. It's a, a coral color, hard to tell in this light. It also matches um, that. And it was, three for, it was three for eight as well. Then I have this one. Um, it's another French terry, but this is uh, brushed on the back. Uh, you can see, I had a, a T1 like this that had a lot of rayon in it. Um, that you know all of that brush stuff just like rolled off and like my legs would be covered in teal fuzzies but I don't think this will be that bad um, and it definitely doesn't have a lot of stretch it's it's a nice lightweight it actually also goes with the the previous two it looks nice with that polyester spandex it was slightly less it was two for four can't beat that I have to do make something that doesn't require a lot of stretch though and then, speaking of no stretch, 
this green, at first I was hoping it was like a rayon um, uh, Shelly, but I think it might actually be like a nylon, or I don't know, I say everything's nylon. It could be a rayon, but it's more like a, a poplin. And it's, um, I'm trying to see if I can get a picture of how thick it is. It's actually a little meaty. It'd be great for a jumpsuit, because if you were a jumpsuit wearing type of person, I'm not really sure what I'll do with it, but it's really cool. And anyway, if nothing else, it could be a, it could be a muslin, but hopefully it'll be something else. And it was three for eight as well. Three for eight is a pretty common price, um, slightly more than what they were. And this one is probably my least favorite. I think I liked it more in the store than I like it at home, but it's still nice. It's like a burnt orange. Oh, it doesn't, the color doesn't look right here. It's a burnt orange and it's got no stretch whatsoever. Um, it's a knit, um, feels like it's got some polyester in it. It has, um, there's a name for the tweed, I forget, um, when you have a fabric, it's got like the little balls in it um, that are, it has like kind of neon orange and yellow balls and it's, it sounds, it, it's fine. I think the reason I'm, it's not my favorite is, is probably the lack of stretch. So I'm less sure what I'm gonna do with it. Three for eight. Figures it was one of the more expensive ones, but you can't win them all, right? Okay, so back to another brushed poly. And these aren't necessarily my favorite cover colors in the whole wide world, um, but oh, double brushed poly, it feels so comfy. Three for eight, again. I'm gonna tuck the labels inside. Now, this, this, <laughs> this is a stretch woven athletic fabric. It's thick, gorgeous. It's like 30% stretch in one direction. It's like 25 in the other. Pace skirt, here I come. Moxie's here I come, but it's white. Okay, white, white. So um, we also stopped by and bought some Rit dye for synthetics. So I'm gonna um, give that, a, I'm gonna try dyeing it because uh, I don't, I, I used to play tennis, but I mean, I, even then I didn't wear a white skirt unless, you know, this was required um, but anyway three yards for eight dollars and I would have gotten a lot more of that if I could because I'm, I'm sure I'll be able to dye it okay and the final piece who knows okay this might have been a loss um, it is a mesh it is definitely a mesh um, it has um, almost no vertical stretch um, just a slight mechanical vertical stretch, like 10 to 15%. And it has a little bit of horizontal stretch, actually quite a bit of his horizontal stretch. It's, um, it's like a trico, the actual knit itself. It's, um, it's not like a power mesh where you get like the octagons. Um, anyway, so I've asked the bra makers, would this be suitable for bra lining? And if so, how to use it? Like, would, do I do, direction of greatest stretch across, um, what I crisscross it and just put two layers. It's super soft, so I wouldn't have any trouble with it against my skin. Um, anyway, I hope that they were, um, I think they're, they've answered me a little bit and I'm gonna hear. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Maybe, I don't think with the, without, the, without the vertical stretch, I can't really use it for panels in the side of leggings. Um, I don't know what I'll use it for. It's, but it was four yards for $4, so. I took the chance. I mean, I had four yards, if it is bra lining, that is the rest of my life <laughs> of bras. I can't imagine going through that many. Although maybe something else will occur to me. Anyway, so that's my, my quick run. I had some trouble recording, so hopefully it came through and hopefully I can get rid of the noise in the background. You see I'm glowing, but not quite as much as last time. It's because we have a room air conditioner now. And it's 107 heat index this afternoon. And um, so, um, we're super thankful. Anyway, um, catch you next time. Bye. We will come back again. All in the store, what is good? All the world be great. Don't let the fear steal your peace, no. Don't let the fear steal your peace.